Ah, what a peaceful Sunday. She was a fighter. Just uh, processing this 2002 Ford Focus. $50 car. $150 cat on it. Not too bad. Had to get it off of there. Had to reel it in. Ooh, got some wheels on there. Show you what else I've been doing. I like metal. You know that. Sometimes you gotta work with wood. Yep. Had to do a little deck repair. I replaced a number of rotten panels and uh, gave her a coat of paint. Didn't come out too bad, if I did say so myself. That nice uh, Valspar deck paint really soaked right in. I rebuilt these two steps, brand new, pressure treated. Oh yeah, pine needles. Got one pine tree right there. One pine tree to drive me nuts. Hopefully I'll uh, get some footage of the parade I was in yesterday. Yeah. East Millinocket Summerfest Parade. Trying to drum up some business. Oh yeah. I wanted to put all three in, but I can't rely on people. Somebody who was supposed to drive my Suburban in the parade so I could put all three. But I should put the, uh, the dually, the old farm truck, try to uh, drum up some business. Got a call yesterday, removed three junk cars right up the road, going there tomorrow. Business starting to come in. They got a uh, new town ordinance. They're, uh, they got a guy that's going around checking yards and uh, making sure people are cutting their grass and stuff you can only have a certain certain height on your grass and you're only supposed to have one unregistered vehicle oh boy about to be a lot more here Can't play no music on YouTube, but I got my thousand dollar stereo set up. Cambridge Soundworks. 
system I scored for free. Sounds pretty good. Finally got the wood stove out. It's set up right here. And uh, before winter, we're just going to get her vented right out the window there. Have some heat. Of course, uh, you know, this stuff is going to be right next to it, so just take it easy. You know, just take it easy. I'm not going to leave the welder beside it. Come on. Oh, you want to hear it run like that, don't you? Too much noise. Someone asked about upstairs. I forgot. Never even uh, took you guys up there. <clears throat> Whew, hot up here. A lot of room up here. This, uh, you couldn't even walk up here. When I first moved, that stuff right there is the stuff that we brought. The rest of it was just filled with crap, mostly yard sale stuff. I took uh, three loads to the dump out of here. This desk was up here, it's just too damn heavy to move. So I just left it. These office chairs were up here. Oh, yeah. So, like I said, it's mostly crap. Found a few things, you know, worth a couple of bucks. A few useful things. There was like a hundred of these bed frames, bed headboards and uh, bunk beds and I mean just from that wall over to here. I've been slowly taking them out, cutting them up, burning them. Yeah, I'm not going to take the time to see if anyone needs them. I know, I know. Some things over here couple things I could sell. Then of uh, leather belts, you know, just random stuff. Nothing too interesting. A lot of totes. Lots and lots of totes. A lot of bicycle wheels. No bicycles. Tons of wheels. I missed some scrap over there. There were so many headboards and bed frames. I couldn't even see what was back here. That's all iron pipe. Got some random telephone pole cut up pieces. I don't know. Like I said, random stuff. But the guy had his chance. Family that used to live here came and got what they wanted. Said they didn't want anything else. They said, That's okay. I'll get rid of it. Just take the good stuff and leave the crap for me. That's fine.
So eventually, when I get the rest of the crap out of here, there's a lot of storage space up here. I don't know. A lot of possibilities for this room. <laughs>